like we read in this parasha, Vaishlach, we have in every parashut, every parasha, we have types and shadows. Yeah, it's true. And uh, as we as we learn and study the Torah, not in a rabbinical ways, mm. but according to the Ruach. The Ruach, which the Ruach, the, the Ruach, because the Ruach will lead us into all truth. This is what she was saying. There is no magic. There is just to be patient and to learn year after years <coughs> to dig into the Torah and it will the understanding will increase. So we have types and shadows and actually in the parasha of Aishla is about, about the life of uh, Yaakov. Mm. Yaakov is a type of Mashiach. Is yeah. a type. I don't see his Mashiach. I don't see his shadow. He's a type. He's a type of Mashiach with the head <coughs> of the twelve tribes. Mm. Okay, the twelve sons of Yaakov are the patriarchs. They are all the, the head of the family, the twelve families. And very interesting is that uh, Yaakov bear these children in the land of Laban. The only one who is not uh, born in the land of Laban is Benjamin, mm. the son of my right hand. Mm. You see, so beautiful. The son of my right hand. And he's born on the way to Bethlehem, if, 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 if mm. You see. So now, as we have spoken already, like uh, we, are, we, we see that this, like in the book of Yahushua, the son of Nun, which is the uh, shadows, especially the first five chapters, were well, shadows of the returning of the chin of Israel to the land of Canaan. And this is uh, something which is very important to understand because. Elohim says in the book of Yeshayahu that he speak the end from the beginning. Yeah. So we need to study the book of Bereshit, which means the beginning, in order to understand the, the end, what will be in the end, and it will not change. Because Yehovah says, I will speak the end before it comes to pass. Yeah. So here in the, in the story of Yaakov, we see that he is a man, a man of flesh. Like Yeshua. Yeshua is a man of flesh. He's a man of flesh. He's not a God. He's a man of flesh, like, like you and me, like everyone of those who are called by Elohim. And now if we go back in the land of his father, Isaac, because Elohim told him, because Elohim told him, because Elohim told him, so now he's on his way, and suddenly he, he hears that Esau is coming against him. I will not go now in the details why Esau will not attack him, but the fact is that Esau will not be able to attack, to attack Yaakov and his children to stop them to go back to the land of Canaan. And this is a shadow of the end time. Because this, if we compare with the, with the, the story which is tell, told, uh, uh, told us in the book of Yahushua, the son of Nun, we see the parallel. And what is interesting is that the generation we see there, the children of Yaakov, they are the first, the first born of Yaakov, they are, the, they are the seed from Yaakov, you see, and uh, they represent exactly the 12 tribes who will return to the land of Canaan. Mm. And this is something we need to understand in order to see that the day will come we will return to uh, the land of Canaan. Yeah. Yeah. That is the... And Benjamin, who has been assimilated to the Yehudi, now today, Jews are called Jews, but they don't know for the majority if they are from the tribe of Benjamin or if they are from the tribe of uh, Levi, only few know that, or if they are from the tribe of, of Yehuda. They are mixed. Mm. They call themselves Jew. It is a, a general term for all those who have been there, but we don't know exactly. Elohim knows. 
So, but the day will come. Myself, I have a, I have a theory, and uh, if, maybe it is wrong, but we will we speak again when we speak about Yosef. Why Yosef? While Yeshua revealed himself to Benjamin, yeah. then we will see that there is a difference. And I think it is a shadow of what happened today, of our brain for Yehuda, who uh, now recognize Yeshua. Mm. You see, they recognize in the spirit that they are Benjamin, Benjamin that Yeshua yeah. is their brethren, direct. You understand? Mm. But this is another story. So we have really to study, to dig into it, because this morning we spoke about uh, wisdom and uh, understanding which bring to knowledge. Mm. Knowledge do not come alone. We see when we see the, study the, the, the tree of life and we make this uh, graphic, we see that the, the, the knowledge, the art, is separate. It is not there. It is only the fusion <coughs> of wisdom <coughs> and Bina. When wisdom, <coughs> when wisdom and Bina come together, which are the Sephiroth, which are the uh, belong to the Godheads. This is what Paul speaks in, uh, in the book of, uh, I think it's in uh, Philippians or Colossians. Mm -hmm. The Godhead, which is uh, in Yeshua, this is uh, the Keter, Bina, and uh, Keter, Wisdom, uh, Ochma, and Bina. Mm -hmm. okay. This is why we have a prophet, a prophet like Moshe. And we need to have this experience in life, which will be called the perfect knowledge. Mm. Because the knowledge without the wisdom and the understanding from the Torah, don't forget that wisdom is the Torah. Yeah. Wisdom is the Torah. That is uh, in Proverbs chapter 6, we read it. It's considered as a person, as a mother. This is of us, a woman. Yeah, as a mother, mm. even mother. Mm. Okay. And so it's very important to understand that. So, when the knowledge and experience in life come with the wi mix with the wisdom and the understanding from above, then we have the perfect knowledge. So this is how, how we should live. But <clears throat> if we don't study the Torah, then we will rely on man's opinion, man's doctrine, or vain discussion, which will not bring the truth. Mm. Because Yeshua say, you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And the truth, according to Psalm 119, 141, 150, 150 and 162, is the Torah. Mm. Is the Torah. <clears throat> so, it's only the Torah that can make somebody free. From what? From all man's made doctrine. From all man's tradition. Mm. Where we understand the Torah. Because the difference between the Brit Radasha, so-called New Testament, mm. and the Tanakh, which yeah. includes the Torah, it is that the Torah is a divine word given by Elohim direct to Moshe. Direct to Moshe. Mm. In the Brit Radasha, we have teaching from the Apostle. This teaching comes from the Torah. This means when Yeshua or the Apostle speak in their drash, teaching, explanation, they always have the Torah in mind. Yes. Not the scripture. Not the, the other Tana. way around. The not Tana. the other way around. We don't explain hmm. the Torah. The Torah or the we Tana. don't explain the Torah by the Brit Radasha. We explain the Brit Radasha by not, the Torah. Yeah. This is opposite. This is a problem with the Christianity. They want to explain that the the Old Testament by the, the no, 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 not even, not even. They negate, they negate the Old Testament and make new doctrines related alone, to the Brit Radasha. Alone the Brit Radasha yeah. because of the New Covenant. Because if we reject the Torah and the Torah study, we go empty. The Torah do not come by magic. The Torah do not come by magic. <coughs> and Elohim will force nobody to study the Torah. No. And if we don't study the Torah, we will go without knowledge. We go everywhere. <laughs> we, we will go without knowledge. This is why we quote from all the scientists, you know, <coughs> because yeah. we don't have the... A scientist can only confirm what has been said in the Torah. Or the people who wrote the book like that. You understand? The, the wisdom. But not the other Man wisdom. Man wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So it is important to understand that and to encourage 
everyone to study the Torah in order to have something. Okay.